my name is Sibylla Scherer. Uh, I'm the president of marketing of the DFS Group. DFS is uh, the leader in tra uh, travel luxury, um, so um, the company is 53 years old. Uh, we have a long tradition catering to the world traveler, and we curate the finest luxury goods out of all the segments in the world. Um, so you can shop with us at airports, and we have downtown stores, 14 beautiful stores across the world. Uh, we have more than 420 locations worldwide, and we are present on three con continents in the world. They are all beautiful and spectacular in itself, you know. I mean, if you look at the bottles and, and the juices within, I mean, it's just spectacular. It's a very tough call, I have to say. I really, I'm intrigued with the galan, with the, with the bee. Uh, I love the Bulgari juice uh, very much. And, um, you know, I, I also like the Ferragamo. I think it's beautiful if you look at the, um, the big bottle. So it's very hard to pick one because they are they're all very spectacular and, and very unique. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm the director for fragrances at DFS. I love perfume. I've been in perfume for 10 years and I decided that there needs to be something different in the industry. Uh, the perfume houses have extraordinary noses and extraordinary art pieces, but no one's ever brought it together in one area where you could see all the brands. So I had a vision that we need to be pulling this together and bringing all these beautiful brands and pieces and unique one-of-a-kinds to a location. And this location is the location it had to be at. It's the Middle East. Historically, culturally, this is a perfume center. I think it's the center of perfume, is the Middle East. Oh, I like Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi I love just because the culture center, the Louvre about to open up. I think, honestly, I think this region is going to be a destination for the world. I, everyone's going to want to come here. You're going to want to spend your time here. You want to see the museums. You want to spend some time in the sun. But it's truly, you're going to get culture. You're going to go back home and you're going to talk about it. This is a new, a new way of thinking about Abu Dhabi. Uh, I, you know, I actually don't have, I, I truly don't have a favorite because I curated all these pieces with the brands. Every piece in here is unique and I love them all because they're here. I, there's not one, everyone's so unique. There's pieces that the fragrance houses worked on, the jeweler's house worked on, the noses, the fashion house, everything's unique. And when you bring that all together, I, to me, I would have them all in my house if I could. From, uh, as I'm sure many of your viewers probably know, we are, Ajmal Perfumes is from UAE. Um, so what we wanted to do was something special that represents the uh, heart of UAE. And as we all know, the falcon is the national bird. And within the falcon, we've encapsulated the colors of the UAE flag. So at the moment, it's a bit dark, you can't see it, but the colors are red, green, black, and the clear represents the white. That's just an art piece made by Murano artisans. Normally it takes one artisan about two weeks to make. And we are, we are actually presenting 10 pieces here. Of the 10 pieces, 9 pieces come with the hood. Both of them have over 20 years old Indian oud in it. Yeah? Extremely precious, extremely uh, pure and amazing quality. The difference between the two is that one of them is encrusted with Swarovski crystals, representing again the UAE flag colors. So there is clear black, uh, red and uh, green. The one piece which is the pièce de résistance for us is with 73 carats of real jewels. So there is diamonds, black diamonds, rubies and emeralds. The prices are, this one is 90,000 dirhams for nine pieces each and that one is 750,000 dirhams. Honestly, I, I absolutely adore the piece that has been done by uh, Bulgari then there is a Guerlain, which is very, very beautiful. The Armani as well is very nice. Every one of them has something special about it. But of course, I mean, Ajmal is Ajmal. Ajmal is Ajmal. I am Sylvain Delacourt, I am the Artistic Director for Fragrances. I'm working with Thierry Vasseur, our internal nose, and we are developing many fragrances uh, each year. And I am also responsible of, of uh, bespoke perfume, tailor-made perfume. Uh, 
Uh, so uh, I have been working for Garland for many years and uh, I have uh, used to work with Mr. Jean-Paul Garland also before in the past. So I am really uh, Garland. I have, uh, like I told, I have uh, Garland in my events and, uh, and I'm proud to, to be here today to, to present uh, our masterpiece of the masterpiece. Uh, uh, because you know that Pierre-François Pascal Garland, the founder, has created uh, Haute Cologne Imperiale with a bottle, uh, with the bees, which, which were the symbol of, uh, the, some of the empire. So it became our symbol, the bee. And we have uh, created the new, uh, bottle, the bee bottle. It is hand-paid with gold. And you can have also in transparent uh, one also. Uh, you can have different uh, fragrances inside. And here we have uh, an exceptional new bottle, B bottle, uh, with uh, in crystal. It is it is a crystal and uh, made by Baccarat. It is three kilo of crystal, and uh, 12 hours were necessary to, to for the glass blower to, to transform the glass into that masterpiece of art. And uh, you have inside a unique juice called uh, the secret, uh, the rêve de lune. It means uh, the dream of the moon. It is unique fragrance, and uh, 500 hours were necessary to create the fragrance. And also, you have a silk wand around the neck, uh, made by our Dame de Table. And we have a magnificent bee, uh, like a butterfly, an abstract bee. Uh, it is a jewel. You can wear on a chain with diamond. You have 11 carats of diamond. The the butterfly you can press on the you can press on the uh, big diamond of two carats. It is a pearl uh, yellow diamond. You press and the wings open its wings and uh, the, the and really the perfume which is inside. So it is a perfume jewel and it's in unique unique piece and uh, it is really a night tech uh, uh, of, uh, mechanism to release a perfume we've never seen that before so we have something very very special uh, that you can't find in any place it is really one for, for that event and we have also some uh, bee bottle without uh, gold a normal classic with uh, designed by Silvia Toledano with a, a, a necklace in gold, 24 carats, with a semi uh, precious stone. One is Yonix, one is uh, Sapphire, and the last one is Cornelian, uh, pink uh, color. And it is uh, an association with the three fragrances, very well known in Guerlain, La Petite Rome Noire, uh, Little Black Dress, Idyll, and also insolence. And insolence, I have developed uh, insolence uh, some years ago. And uh, now we can find that uh, unique uh, bottle, an exclusivity for DFS. My name is Evan Lewis. I'm the Vice President of Communications and Public Relations for the DFS Group. DFS is the world's largest travel retail company. The, the company is based in Hong Kong, uh, but it has locations in about 18 air, iconic airports and 14 downtown galleries around the world in, in places that people really want to go to on, on vacation. There's actually 26 wonderful pieces of perfume that have been created into artworks. These extraordinary pieces come from many of the world's most prestigious um, perfume brands and DFS has been able to work with the brands to bring them together to pre present them in a showcase and tonight we'll be unveiling them at a gala event and tomorrow they'll be on display at Abu Dhabi International Airport in Terminal 1 for world travellers to visit when they pass through Abu Dhabi Airport. That's interesting, I mean firstly DFS and Abu Dhabi Airport have a very strong partnership and we've worked together since 2008. So that reason alone made it a very important decision to, to have the event here. Furthermore though, the, the Lord of Fragrances is very much anchored in the Middle East. Um, they're well appreciated, they're well consumed, the consumers are very educated on, on how to look, use them as a part of their lifestyle. So those factors combined and the fact that this is a, a very important fragrance market for us made Abu Dhabi a very easy decision. I'm Michael Edwards. Perfume is my passion my life and I love it. It's extraordinary. It is perfume 
to become art, perfume, museum quality bottles. What you're seeing here are bottles that we've not seen before of such extraordinary artistic work, such extraordinary creativity. It's never happened. 26 different bottles, works of art put together, each museum quality. I, I think that probably one of the most extraordinary ones is the magnificent bottle by Guerlain, the bee, la bee. The bee is the symbol of Guerlain. When Francois Pascal Guerlain in, in 1853 created L'Ode Imperial, it, the Empress Eugenie loved it so much that she gave him the right to use the Napoleonic bee as a symbol. And that has always been the symbol of the House of Guerlain, but it's never been transformed quite as magnificently as into this Baccarat bottle. You know, it, it took the glassmakers some 15 hours to blow each bottle. It took the ladies who actually tie the thread and finish the bottle another one and a half hours for each bottle. And the perfume itself took Telly Vasa, the perfumer, just over 500 hours in the creation. It's an extraordinary thing now. Just as lovely in crystal would be the Amouage set. There are only two of them, and only one is available here for sale. The other has been given to one of the royal families. But here Christopher Chong, the creative director of Amouage, found some craft people who can still take solid blocks of rock crystal and hand carve out two bottles, one for men and one for ladies. They're magnificent. They're using techniques that date back to the 1700s. The caps are different semi-precious stones. There's a band of gold around each one. Bulgari you'll love. It's, it's an extraordinary creation. I, I, I came across a quotation from Richard Burton in which he said the only Italian word that Elizabeth Taylor knew was Bulgari. And as you know, Bulgari has always been renowned for its remarkable colored emeralds. Here you're seeing the, for the first time, the fusion between the Bulgari fragrance team, the Bulgari jewelry team, and a glassmaker, a celebrated glassmaker from the Venetian Murano Glassworks. It literally symbolizes in a perfume bottle the essence of the Bulgari jewelry. Quite extraordinary on that kind of one there. The Salvador Ferragamo is quite different. Here Ferragamo have taken the essence of the Signorina Elegance bottle but exploded it into a litre container, fine as crystal, and they've transformed the Vera Bow, which is the symbol of, of Ferragamo. You'll see that on all their shoes, that gross grain ribbon there. They've translated that into pure gold. And there's a golden label for the name of the fragrance studded with four diamonds on it. And then you have the incredible amphora for Christian Dior for Jador. You remember in that advertisement when Charlize Chiron comes down the hall with that golden dress with the neck. Well, that's what they've taken into the bottle and transformed it. If you have a chance, do go and see this exhibition. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And I think only DFS could have had the, the collaboration and the power with the brands to be able to realize it. It's extraordinary. It's because DFS is in the luxury business. Many of their clients have an interest in this. It started five years ago in um, um, Macau, where they introduced Masters of Time, an extraordinary one-day event like this in which they featured, they showcased the most extraordinary watches and timepieces, ranging from $25,000 to a million dollars, and that's become an annual institution. So there was the feeling that that might be just of interest in perfumery. And that's the idea behind it.